I don't, don't usually do Facebook. Uh, you so. got it? No, not yet. I'm trying to figure it out. Because I don't, I don't do Facebook Live. I'm learning that one. I do you IG. Right there. Oh, okay. And then you could hit like... All, all of them? Okay, pretty much. All right, so I'll give it a couple of minutes when we get started. Um, Y'all yeah, can hit the like button. Somebody, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki and IK doing good, ready to learn. Little uh, sweet S W P B said hi. What's up? How you and doing? And German made ninety said hi. German. <laughs> That's solid, man. All right, we good. We got over here. We got four over here. Four over here. <laughs> Golly! All right. <laughs> well, thing that you was hitting the thing. Yeah. All right. Well, thing and oh well. All right. So uh, what we're gonna be going over today was uh, economics. All right. So we're gonna be talking about uh, assets and liabilities. All right. So um, I've had the post up there, you know, asking to get y'all engaged on it, asking, uh, do you know what an asset is, what you know what a liability is, just to kind of get your brain running about. Thomas D. Mano said, keep spreading the love and knowledge, Ken. Right. And Alexis Bolden said, hey. What's up, what's up? May y'all join on in. All right, so there's this concept, um, I don't know if a lot of you may have heard of it, called guns and butter, all right? So uh, guns and butter, it refers to the allocation of federal government, uh, their money to defense and social programs. All right, so there's uh, two, two different budgets, two ways you can look at the U.S. government budget. All right, there we have, we got uh, two categories. We got mandatory, and then we got discretionary, all right? So with mandatory, this would be like your Social Security, this would be your welfare. These are all your social programs, all right, that are going to that mandatory, all right? But then we have discretionary. Now, this is where you'll see money being spent on our defense system, the military, and things of that nature. Now, in this sense of it, uh, the welfare, that would be the butter, all right? Because that's something that could melt, go up, go down, all right? And then we got discretionary, all right? Which would be the guns, because they're actually talking about the military and something that's whole, all right? Now, with the guns and butter, as far as the government goes, all right? The two things- And that poke said, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> love you too. <laughs> but, um, all right, with the being, for me off. All right, but yeah, so with the funding happening, all right? With the, uh, with the mandatory and the discretionary. Now, during times of peace, when we're not at war, you will usually see a mandatory, which is like the welfare and the social security, things of that nature will be going well. But once we get into times of war, unsettled, and we have no peace, you'll see um, our discretionary spending going up, which is on the military. All right, that'll be the actual guns. Hey, make sure you follow Black Agenda on IG, BLK underscore agenda. All right, make sure you're sharing this as well, all right? Now, far as uh, assets and liabilities, and our life, all right? So the assets, that'll be something that adds value and appreciates, all right? And uh, what's an asset in your life? Y'all tell me, talk to me. What's an asset in your life? Y'all uh, drop it in the comments for me. Give me, uh, tell me one asset that's a part of your life right now that you have. Um, don't necessarily have to be money, but what's one asset that you have? Talk to me. We'll give y'all a little bit of time because uh, I want y'all to engage, all right? I need to know what's adding value to your life, all right? Assets can come in many forms as well, so don't be uh don't be shaming whatever your asset is. All right, I'm gonna give y'all a couple seconds to do that. Give me uh just give me one asset. All right, so we got nobody got the asset. All right. Somebody put this. Alexis Bolden put that emoji. 
Huh? The thinking emoji. The thinking emoji. And All then right, so German Nate to... said, "Black agenda, laugh out loud." <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll take that. All right, so asset. That'll be something. To Somebody add. said, "My craft lot. asset provides more money." Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, you said what asset? My craft is an asset provides more money. All right, good, cool. Yeah, never sleep on talents that can make you money. I tell a lot of people that. All right, so then we got liability. Give me one liability there. Like, so this one might be a little bit easier now. Let's watch how we program our brain with this. Assets, that's something that adds value to your life, something that should generally probably make you happy. Y'all can't think of that one off the top of your head, but let's think about liability. That's something that gets, uh, puts you at a disadvantage or something that's uh, negative, all right? So let's talk, what's the liability that you got? All right, what's the liability? Let's uh, look at that. Your liability. What's the liability? I know y'all gonna answer this one quick. <laughs> liability. Alexis one. Bolden said car. Car. All right. <laughs> All right. What else? Who else? The German Liability. said bills, bills, bills. <laughs> bills, bills, bills. <laughs> All right. All right. So with a liability, that's definitely something that puts you at a disadvantage. Now, as far as uh, assets and liabilities, we're going into the guns and butter. Now, funny thing is, all right, I know y'all probably remember this from Baby Boy, um, the movie, but he was in a room talking junk about uh, his stepdad, mm -hmm. and then he walked in the room, but I don't think a lot of people caught this part, and he was telling them how stupid they was because they were selling drugs, but they weren't really getting anything of value in return, and he explained guns and butter, all right? So, I'm going to go into it uh, with the guns. That would be your asset, the guns, all right? That will be things that you put money aside for, like stock, um, real estate, and precious metals, so jewelry and things of that nature. Those are assets. Um, economically speaking, all right? Those will be assets in your life that you'll have that appreciate, typically they typically appreciate and bring value and add more money to your life, all right? Now, with uh, butter, all right? These would be your liabilities, all right? It's literally butter, something that melts, all right? That's how you can think of it when you're doing your spending and doing your budget, all right? Where's your guns, all right? Stock, where's your real estate, professional things that appreciate, all right? If oh, I have an uh, Acorns account, oh, Lexus Bolden. All right, Acorns, all right? I like acorns. I started out with them too. Actually helped me get my house because I had money saved from it. All right, they helped me get more discipline. All right, but with butter, all right, that'll be like a new car, fancy clothes, things that depreciate, all right? So that is usually your butter, all right? Things that don't add any value or hold very little value to your life. And I would say with cars, if it's a brand new car, that's usually a liability because as soon as you drive off the lot, it probably drops about $10,000. That's uh, one of the things with uh, buying new cars, that's why you know, I'd probably never buy a new car. I'd probably buy all of them used because as soon as you drive off the light, you use $10,000 or so on a car. Unless you get a really high-end car that's going to um, appreciate over time, which is almost very rare um, right now. All right, so um, one thing, piece of advice, all right, for the guns and butter, when you're setting your budget, all right, make sure you know, all right, what's your guns for you, all right? It may be stock. You may be uh, up for real estate or precious metals. All right, make sure you know your butter. The things that are your liabilities, all right, things you can go without, subscription to Netflix, um, Spotify, things of that nature that can save you probably a good 50 bucks a month or so, all right? So those are things uh, that would be uh, your butter that you could go without. Now, uh, one thing I say, put aside a percentage, all right, that will go towards your guns, all right? So there'll be things of stock, real estate, and precious metal. Now, you want to put a percentage aside because that is how you're going to uh, – build up your capital, and you could put it into things that grow over time if you have a mutual fund, if you do stock, just different things. There's so many ways you can uh, diversify your income and put in other things that add value. So that's a whole other topic we could talk about on, on another session. All right, but the difference between the rich and the poor with the guns and butter is they put more of their money in guns, all right, because most people, they'll have stock that added value over 20 years, so they're literally probably making more off of their stock than they are in real life from a job or whatever side gig they may be doing, all right? Because that's just, that's their guns that they've been sticking to over time and the money's been appreciating, all right? So butter, let's cut the butter, all right? Let's cut the butter, all right? Because those are our liabilities. Let's get more guns, all right? We need our stock, we need our real estate, our precious metals, all right? Things are going to appreciate over time, things, not the butter, which depreciates over time. So make sure you remember these two when we're setting our budgets, all right? Because that's, um... That's our lesson for today. I told you to be quick. I wouldn't be long. All right. So, anybody got questions? Questions, questions, questions. All right. I'm going to uh, spend about uh, probably like five to ten minutes on questions if we got any. All right. Because um, this was a pretty straightforward lesson. Um, 
I was going over this because I wanted to just make sure when you're starting a business or when you bring in some more money, the biggest thing that people um, you know don't pay attention is to that they don't understand money and how things work. All right, because let's say I've watched it personally. Somebody have ten thousand dollars in January and literally by April they said they had eight hundred dollars in their account left. Now that's somebody you run into a large amount of money, but you don't know what to do with it and you spend it frivolously, and that happens more times than you think. Because Somebody said, Chrissy said, that. will you be starting a YouTube channel? Uh, it's, I already got the YouTube channel uh, with the Black Agenda, so it's the same thing, uh, the BLK underscore agenda. Um, and when you go on the Black Agenda um, on our website, if you go to uh, the Black Agenda Academy, that's where you'll find all the videos, and uh, you can rewatch them on there. And they're YouTube videos as well. It's just uh, connected to uh, on the website. All right, the website, blkagenda.com. Um, that's where you'll find our past stuff. You'll find the apparel. All right, and I got um, some new coming out this one if y'all, you know, go look. All right. So we got any questions before? Uh, Not yet. No questions. No questions. Sounds good. Keep it up, Chrissy. Oh, yeah. said. Who? Chrissy. Chrissy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Chrissy. But uh, yeah, this was a nice quick lesson. Just wanted to go over the assets and liabilities. Are you going right. to expand more on this topic, German made ninety cent? Nah, probably not. I mean, what you want to know? Just give me uh, something. I could expand on it. I just wanted to give uh, the basic knowledge of uh, guns and butter and assets and liabilities, how these two uh, relate to one another as far as on your economics. All right. I would need a specific question uh, if we're going to go that route uh, with uh, expanding on it. Because, uh, I mean... It's really nothing to go over. I mean, the asset, when it comes to budgeting your books, when it comes to budgeting your books, so um, one thing that I do personally, um, if I'm going to invest uh, money in a stock one week, that's what I'm going to make sure I do, and I'll probably allocate about 30 to 40 percent of my um, paycheck towards that. All right, because sometimes I'll just drop $500, sometimes I'll drop $1,000 just into um, stock. All right, because I'll you know delegate a certain amount of money, probably over two weeks. All right, that I'll do that and then just put it into stock or a stock I've been studying. All right, and then uh, one week I may do that, the next week I may go buy some jewelry, um, and the next thing I probably is looking at real estate because that's something that I like to do just to stay up on beat and see what properties are available because I do look to um, get another property. So um, as far as your budget goes with your guns and butter, we all got butter in our life, all right? We all got it, we can't help it, all right? But as far as the guns, that's something that you really wanna pay attention to, all right, because that is what's going to set you back. And it's usually the difference between somebody, you know, being comfortable in life with their finances and somebody being uncomfortable because they're spending money frivolously, all right? Um, a budget is always a good thing. I told, I write mine out every month. I see how much money is coming in and then how much money is going to be going out and um, what I'm netting. So that's what I have at the end of the month. And then um, I set myself a budget for what I want to spend. And then uh, the rest of it, it'll be uh, in my account or the next week it'll be in stock. Anybody else little questions? Anybody else before we uh, before I head out? Oh yeah, if you haven't, um, also about the book club, you can uh, click the link in the bio uh, right there. It's on the comments. Uh, you can go to the book club. We have it on the website as well. To subscribe. Um, I just got my new bookcase. I put it up myself. All right, I'm so excited about that because I have books all over the house and I needed a new um, book. But I'll show it to y'all. All right, so uh, we got a question or we good? Not yet. All right, so peace and love, family. Remember, know your assets, know your liabilities. If you don't understand something that I said, um, I'll be posting a video, but I want you to also study. That's what we have to do. You can't just watch what I'm doing. If, if you're taking notes, that's fine, but if you want to know something a little bit deeper, go start looking into this stuff. And uh, you can also go on YouTube. That's a great resource. Um, when I was first learning about a lot of this stuff, that's why I use YouTube. Um, because it's always, one thing you have to keep in mind, there's always somebody out there that went through something that you're going through right now or actually going through it and they have it documented. Can you do stocks and bonds next week? Stocks and bonds. Uh, next week, actually, we will have uh, Mr. Clarence Rocket. So that's Mr. Financial. Um, I'll, I'll see what he want to do. Clarence, we're uh, we making up the plan now because uh, we're going to go the uh, business management route. Or uh, we can talk about stocks and bonds. Um, he already has a video on it um, with the stocks 
I don't know if he did bonds, but I know he definitely did uh, stocks because uh, he's all financial services. He'll be with us next week on the Black Agenda. He'll be our first guest. So um, in these next few weeks, just to update y'all. Um, Nikki said, whenever it's fine, laugh out loud. I <laughs> said, so whatever it's fine. <laughs> all right, but uh, yeah, these next couple of weeks, uh, we'll have guests that will be coming on to the Black Agenda, and they'll be teaching you as well because um, I want to kind of diversify your knowledge and let you hear from somebody else, you know, I know y'all ain't looking at me sometimes, <laughs> but we need to have somebody else in here uh, teaching as well that's an expert in the area because, like, I just know a lot of different things and I know how to educate. But when you have an expert, they can go even deeper for you. All right? And I'm all about having people around me that are smarter than me and stronger in one area, no ego whatsoever. And if you stop learning, that's the day you're in trouble. You should always be learning something. But other than that, we ain't got no questions. I'll see you later, family. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you share, like, repost. All right, go to the website. Uh, look at what we got on there. We got some new things on there. And, uh, I have a couple announcements uh, coming next week and uh, some business tips for y'all next week as well. So, hey, make sure y'all come back. Peace and love, family.